bar graph and pictograph. In this module, you will learn about introduction to data handling, recording and organization of data, pictograph and bar graph. In your everyday class, you must have seen your teacher taking attendance and recording it in the sheet and also during the exam time, the marks are recorded in a sheet of paper to prepare results. Not only in school, but also in various surroundings, we see people recording some or the other information. Right? Example, if you look at a newspaper, you may find tables in sports column, showing top 5 batsmen and top 5 bowlers in the world. Have you thought if this information can help someone? Maybe this information can help organizers to take which players first in their IPL team. Such information, either in numbers or words, which can help us to take decisions, is called data. Now, let us see how a shopkeeper maintains a record of items sold in a particular day. He starts writing in a diary as the customer comes as each item is sold. For example, one pen, one pencil, one book, one set of sketch pen. Two books, three eraser, five pen, and so on. At the end of the day, he has to count all the items he sold. For this, a lot of time is consumed. And he gets tired. One day, he told his problem to his friend. And then his friend advised him to draw squares in his diary, each with a label of item he sold, and put a dot inside it as the item gets sold. One dot for each item. So at the end of the day, he just has to count number of dots in a square for that labeled item. The shopkeeper followed this method and found it easy to calculate rather than the before method. But what if his business starts growing and per day he sells more than 100 items each? For example, 100 pencils a day. He will have to mark 100 dots. So, he had to find some easier way for recording data. As seen in the shopkeeper example, there is one easy way in which a larger data can be recorded in an organized way. In this method, first make a table with name of items, markings and count of items. As the shopkeeper sells each item, he has to mark a line for it. That is, one mark for each and after every four marks, mark a cross mark on them and count it as five. So, for every one cross, bunch of marks can be counted as five. So, if at the end of the day, the shopkeeper has filled this table, then he can evaluate it as total number of pens is 30, total number of pencils is 25, total number of books is 10, total number of sketch pens is 6 and total number of erasers is 40. This method of organizing data is called tally marks. By using this method, one can evaluate more information. Like from the above example, if the shopkeeper wants to know how much total number of pencils and erasers were sold, he can easily calculate it by adding the count of each. Also, he can evaluate the highest or lowest number of items sold by just observing the table. Data that are recorded and organized can also be represented using graphs. Let us learn how to represent data in pictographs. A pictograph uses pictures or symbols to represent the frequency of the data. Let us learn with an example. Observe the graph. It contains information about Number of cookies eaten by Mary in six days of a week. Let us see the information gathered from this table. Number of cookies eaten. Monday, 3. Tuesday, 5. Wednesday, 2. Thursday, half. Friday, 3 and a half. Saturday, 1. 
Also, lowest number of cookies eaten was eaten on Thursday was only half and highest number of cookies eaten on Tuesday that was 5. Similarly, we can easily get more information by observing this picture graph. Now, let us see how to represent this data in pictograph. Is it reasonable to represent such number in pictograph with using a symbol for each? No. So, in such cases, we assume that five children represent one symbol. This method of assuming a symbol to a particular number is called scaling. Generally, we use a scale factor that is greatest common divisor of all frequencies. When the frequency is less than scaling unit, we can use an appropriate assumption. Like, if these symbol represents the number of students as we can easily make a pictograph using it. Let's do it. Similarly, we can choose any symbol as per data and frequency given by using scaling. Representing data by pictograph is not only time consuming, but at times difficult too. Let us see some other way of representing data visually. Bars of uniform width can be drawn horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. And then the length of each bar represents the given number. Such method of representing data is called a bar diagram or a bar graph. Let us learn with an example. A principal asked a teacher to give the data presentation of Number of students for class 6 to 12 for the academic year 2014-2015. The teacher made a bar graph and submitted to the principal on the basis of frequency distribution evaluated. From this graph, the principal could get the information that in their school, class 11 has the highest number of students, while class 6th has the lowest just by looking at the graph. The graph makes it easier to evaluate the data just by observing it. Let us now learn how to construct this bar graph if frequency distribution table is given. It gives information about different sports chosen by number of students. Now to represent this data in the form of vertical bar diagram, first draw two perpendicular lines horizontal as x-axis and vertical as y-axis. Along y-axis, mark number of students and along x-axis, mark sports. They choose. Select a suitable scale as 1 cm is equal to 10 students. Now calculate the height of bars by dividing the frequencies with the scale. So for cricket, it is 80 divided by 10 equals 8. Football is 40 divided by 10 equals 4. Similarly for others. Now draw rectangular vertical bars of same width on the x-axis with height calculated on the graph paper. Similarly, we can make a horizontal bar diagram for the given data too. For that, change the markings on both axes and draw horizontal bars from y-axis as shown here. Let us revise all that we learned in this module on bar graph and pictograph.